New Mexico enjoys more than 300 days of sunshine a year, plenty of fuel for the solar panels we occasionally see around the state. But how many people do you know who power their home or business with solar? According to SEIA, the Solar Energy Industries Association, only about 4% of the power used here comes from solar. And prices they report are down 47% in the last year. So why isn't that first number higher? It's like anything. If you start selling more, it becomes more affordable. Of course, with the tariffs that uh, President Trump put on solar panels, uh, that actually made it more unaffordable for more New Mexican families and more people across the country. So, uh, so that is definitely something uh, that would be worthwhile. It is also a tough balance for New Mexico, which now ranks third in the country for oil and gas production. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. Still, solar is the future when it's more cost efficient for all of us. I believe that the technology and price barrier for solar, the technology will improve, the price barrier will continue to lower over time. And I think that will be the case for, for other aspects of renewable, which you know, are not just you know, energy related, but um, better forest management which will ultimately help you know, uh, with better water practices. All of which, if true, will help. Another source of energy assistance happening now are valuable and innovative federal labs. Some of the things we're doing at, uh, at the labs is actually miniaturizing those solar panels. But so far, as you know, the solar industry is so uh, significantly subsidized that if those subsidies go away, then none of us will be able to afford it. Uh, but do I think it's worthwhile to continue to add research dollars so that we're able to bring the cost down? Yeah, I do. Right now, SEIA claims 2,500 people work in the solar industry here, a number that will only go up when the cost comes down.